Hey guys, Niels from the back, Black Dragon Forge again. Um, on my previous video, well, one of the previous ones, I've showcased uh, a flexi shaft machines. There we go. And why is it called a flexi shaft machine? There we go. It's as easy as that. All right. Uh, this, these are these two are both uh, Borens. All right. Uh, comes with a foot pedal. You step on the pedal slightly, and it goes very slowly. Step on the thing full time. Yeah. There we go. And this one runs 18,000 RPM, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 18,000. Uh, 18, the other one, the smaller one, can actually get up to 20,000 RPM. All right, so uh, there we go. This one was supplied by, supplied by Goldsmith and Jewelry Supplies um, in Pretoria, South Africa, sent to a town. Uh, there we go. That one is a stronger one of the two. Difference between them, obviously stronger, uh, more expensive, but it forges a forward, obviously an off, and a reverse for whatever reason. Uh, but for knife making, I find the, for, the, 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 the thicker one, or the bigger one, um, the stronger one, uh, it works actually better. I can sit down and, and work longer. And because we use carbon steels and these good things, they just tend to not get hot at all, as opposed to a friggin' Dremel. Uh, by the way, a Dremel, the same system they sell that, all right. Ninety percent of the bloody thing is plastic, where this is actually a cast iron, aluminium, whatever you want to call it. That's a cast system. This is made for jewelers to sit behind a simple little desk like this for eight to ten, twelve hours a day and run this machine. It's not a hobby system, right? So get that out of the way first. Number two, when it comes to the bits, you can get all these bits and bobs for them. Sorry, let me just get my light in here. You get all these bits and bobs and mops and tools and yada yada. You can buy that from any self-respecting jewelry supply store. Uh, I know Cape Watch down in, in Cape Town, South Africa obviously sells goldsmith and jewelry supplies and then Novus Design in Pretoria. Uh, they all stock and sell this. Uh, I wouldn't suggest using these little bits on uh, high carbon steels, whether you're running uh, high carbon or high carbon stainless. They're just not made for it. All right. So what you want to do is you want to go buy tungsten bits if you're going to be doing carbon steels. When I say carbon steels, uh, any one of the stainlesses as well. All right, and seeing that we're at it, um, if you're going to be playing with these and you're getting a bit on in life, uh, get yourself a flex or a, an opti visor as well. As you can see, I'm not using mine all that often, but it's definitely worth it. All right. Okay, have fun. Enjoy. Remember to share. Cheers.